Man, let me tell you guys, I had no I, I had no plan on doing this video right now. I was just getting ready to go to bed. I was just getting ready to go to bed. It's like super late where I am right now, 3.30 in the morning. And something tells me, just check ESPN one more time to see what's happening. So I checked ESPN, nothing. Then I went on YouTube and I saw like a video, like a thumbnail with um, Montrez. Oh, excuse the light, but I'm sure you guys don't mind because it's just late. So I saw this image of Montress Harrell, and it says Montress Harrell goes to Lakers. And I was like, what? He goes to the Lakers? So I quickly jump on ESPN, and there it is, the article. Now I'm going to pull it up, guys, and, and bear with me, by the way. I've never, done, I've never done a live stream, but it's true. And I got a lot that I want to say about this. So they acquired Montress Harrell for a two-year deal. Now, let me just say this. Montres Harrell was one of those people that was upset about how Paul George underperformed and his comments that he made at the end of that playoff series when they blew a 3-1 lead. Now, help me understand, if you're going to get tight with Paul George for saying all of those things and you mad because they didn't win, how come... At the end of the season, you decide that you're going to go sign with the people that just beat you, number one. Number two, I forgot who it was, but it must have been a subscriber that said he thinks that Montrez Harrell is a double agent. And I was like, how can he be a double agent? Until I remembered that if you go on Montrez Harrell's Instagram account, I don't know if the picture is still there, but if you go there, you'll see a picture where he posted something. I think it was him and LeBron in the picture. And he was like, shout out to one of my mentors or my mentors in the game. That LeBron James is actually a mentor to Montrezl Harrell. And for him to go sign with the team, they just beat him, the team that y'all are supposed to re-up on and come back on next season, and then go sign with that team, man, it's a bad look. It is a bad, 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 bad look. And I'm sure some of you guys are out there fuming. I wish I could see where you guys are leaving comments. I'm not even sure where I can see that at, but I'm sure um, I'm sure you guys got a lot to say. And I was going to do a video about it in the morning, but I'm like, man, this is too hot. I got to put it out right now. But Montrez Harold deciding to go sign with the Lakers makes me wonder and really begins to make me ask some questions as to what the hell was happening in the playoffs last season. Because last season, it looked like he didn't even want to be in the bubble. And his production was way down. He was scoring probably like eight less points per game. And for him to show to go to those to go to the playoffs, the NBA bubble, and not show up, and all of a sudden, now you go sign with the Lakers, man, that's not a good look. Clippers Nation, I had no idea that this was going to happen. Now, let me just say this. A lot of you guys were saying, hey, we can get, we can do a sign and trade with him because some of you guys lost belief in him, number one. Number two, you thought you thought he was too, he, he didn't have enough size uh, to play the power four to six, seven. So some of y'all were just like, hey, let's get rid of him. And I understood that. But I was like, but he's still the sixth man of the year. The guy could still get buckets, especially with Lou Williams coming off the bench because they seem to have a lot of chemistry. So I was kind of reserved when it came time to making a decision on whether or not if I thought the Clippers should keep the uh, keep Montrezl Harrell, let him walk. But for him to go sign with the Lakers, man, I think, I don't think that's a good look. I don't think that's a good look at all. The Lakers to sign a two year deal with the Lakers. And it makes me wonder if you went and signed with the Lakers, were you and LeBron in communication the whole time? I mean, that's what it looks like, because there's no way the Lakers are going to sign anybody without getting the blessings of their best player or one of their best players in LeBron James. There's no way. And for LeBron to be your mentor, LeBron basically said to Montrez Harrell, hey, man, listen, come with us. You're going to win a championship with us. And if you come with us, just by leaving them, you're going to make them weaker. And that's basically what it is. Montrez Harrell just gave the middle finger to the Clippers to go sign with the Lakers and LeBron and these dudes. And I really wish I could see where you guys are leaving comments. I can't really see it. This is my first time. And I'm probably going to do it. We're probably going to do a better video in the morning and post that.
But man, this is crazy. This is crazy. Montrez Harold decides to sign with Rich Paul and Clutch Sports. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think Clippers fans should be tight. <laughs> Y'all should be tight. There's no way. There's no excuse for that. You can go sign with any other team, but not the Lakers. And now I see why Stephen A. Smith was getting at Kevin Durant for saying, after the Golden State Warriors beat you, you went to go sign with them. He was like, that's the weakest move he's, he's ever seen in NBA history. And this dude is looking really weak right now. You don't go sign with the Lakers, man. That is not a good look. That is not a good look. So Clippers Nation, man, I don't know. Well, Montrezl Harrell is gone. And Roddy Magruder, Roddy Magruder is gone. They got rid of Landry Shaman, but they got a shooter for him. They just extended Patrick Patterson for one more season, which is fine. But I don't necessarily think that's the piece. Now, a lot of free agency moves are taking place. Woj is still releasing a lot of posts on his Instagram. You guys can go follow him and check that out. But Montrez Harrell, man, what a double agent. And one of the one of the followers said it on the channel. He was like, he was questioning the performance that this dude put forth in the playoffs last season. And I was like, he was like, I wonder if the relationship between Montrez and LeBron James had anything to do with it. And I was just like, no way. Cause I don't like to feed into uh conspiracy theories, especially when you don't have any evidence of it. But to see this happen, man. I think it's a bad look, man. It's a bad look. Now, good luck to him because obviously he must think they're going to the Lakers for sure is going to strengthen them, their bench, or maybe they're going to start him, but most likely he'll come off the bench. So for sure they got stronger and the Clippers just lost about 18 points per game. They basically just lost about 18 points per game. So they got to go out somewhere and find that, find that production because Montrez, I mean, for whatever we think, the Duke, but he could score. He could score. I mean, getting you 18 points a game, he could score. He's an energy guy. But I don't know if he sabotaged the Clippers in the playoffs. I don't know if he mentally checked out and said, listen, man, F this team. I'm not trying to rock with these dudes anymore. I don't know if LeBron James was in his ear. It makes you ask all of these questions because he said it himself. Go to his Instagram account. I don't know if it's still there, but there's a post with him and LeBron James embracing. And he's like, Shout out to my mentor. This dude is my mentor, which is cool. If LeBron is your mentor, that's cool. But damn, man, that's cold-blooded. This is like Kevin Durant part two, man. That's cold-blooded. You're supposed to run it back and try to beat them, not go join them. So Clipper, uh, Lakers Nation, man, I mean, Clippers Nation, y'all just got bamboozled, man. <laughs> y'all just got bamboozled. And I think uh, this, I mean, it's on Friday now, so it's probably – not going to make it to the to the to the um mainstream media, the sports media on Monday uh, this weekend because there's nothing happening. But man, this is cold blooded. Mantra is just he just basically put a knife in y'all back. And I think next season, when the Clippers play the Lakers, I think it should be chippy. I think Patrick Beverly, I think Kawhi, I think Paul George and them should have a lot to say to Montrez Harrell when they play against him next season. And I know there's going to be a lot of back and forth, but that's a dirty move, man. That's grimy. That's a grimy move. Because you can't even say, oh, I'm trying to go to a team because I'm trying to win a championship. You're already on a championship contending team. So to go join the Lakers, it, had to, it must have had something else to do with it. Not just, oh, because I want to win a championship. You was already on a championship team. Y'all was already the favorites. So for you to go sign with them, man, I don't know what to say. So, guys, I'm not going to stay up too late because where I am right now is pretty late in the morning. But, uh, man, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. That's a dirty move. But kudos to LeBron James, man. He pretty much just snaked the clipper. That's what he did. He just snaked them. He just snaked them. It shows that LeBron is a shrewd operator. And <laughs> he he just pretty much snaked them. They lost Danny Green, and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna go take I'm gonna go take the sixth man of the year from you guys." And that's what happened. And Montrez fell for it. He just went he just went for it. And damn. So, guys, man, I'm about to go to bed. But um, let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't even know how to end this damn thing. So, oh, okay, there it is. End the button. But we I think we're definitely gonna do a video about it tomorrow, man. But damn. 
Looks like Montrez was a double agent after all. Anyway, catch you guys on the next episode, man. We can, uh, we're probably going to do a video about it tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you for the thank you for your attention. Peace.